What's up? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, today we, uh, we're starting off on a bad note. Well, ending off on a bad note because today's already uh, done with, but not because uh, we're done with because uh, we want to. That's because we had an emergency. One of the uh, workers uh, that drives the tractor did a very short turn, and one of the things that we always tell the uh, drive, tractor drivers is it doesn't matter how wide. Uh, you 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 do the turn but it's always do a wide turn better than a short turn i guess he forgot to do that and he did one of the shortest turns i've ever seen and there was too much stress for the machine because the, uh, the machine uh has a step on the side it caught onto the levee i don't know if you guys remember when uh, i was moving the, the excuse me the machine from one field to the other field uh it, it was too much stress for the for, for the machine so uh, the that that thing broke off. And let me show, let me, me give you guys a better picture of it. It really broke off. So right now, uh, we're gonna have one of the mechanics come over here and weld, and weld back together. So that's gonna be pretty fun. For, uh, for this clip for, for today from uh, and hopefully uh, you guys can tell the difference between no mic and a mic so I bought a new mic and you guys are gonna be hearing how it sounds like and uh, so yeah hope you guys like the mic and uh, catch you guys tomorrow what's up good morning YouTube well, uh, welcome back I already started all the fires that I needed to start today got that done with and over with for today, uh, today, today my crew's over there on the other side of the field, so I gotta go over there. Today's gonna be a very slow day, so oh, I forgot one more piece of trash. But yeah, anyway, uh, uh, today's gonna be a pretty slow day today because they're all finished right here with the new pi uh, with the new pieces. So, but they're doing this just going over uh, the fields again one last time before uh, we turned it into a uh, farmer and he decides to disc it. So yeah. That's that, that's what that's what's happening with uh, with that field over there right now, and so uh, usually usually they are getting two or three pallets a pass. It's not so bad, but we wish it was a little bit more. But oh well. So we're at the yard. We got a lot of things to do here. We gotta move these pallets right here. I gotta move with the, uh, I gotta move a, a lot of things with the forklift right now. So I gotta go all the way over there on the other side. I got a, a couple of pallets right there that I need to be moving around with these, and I got a uh, I got a full pallet of boxes that I need to find somewhere to put it because my crews are gonna be here in like in around an hour, so I got an hour to move all this equipment. I gotta find somebody to uh, give me permission to move it or somebody to move it because my my crews are gonna be passing by here, and I gotta get somebody to hook that machine up as fast as possible because I need. I needed that out of here too because, my, like I said, like, like in an hour or so, my crews are gonna be hitting this uh, the side of the field, so I gotta I gotta move quickly. Okay, so I just moved all these pallets right here from over there. So uh, now I gotta now I gotta empty out uh, my my side of where I keep my little storage at. So yeah, I gotta empty out that right now, and I still I'm still trying to find uh, somebody that's in charge around here. Like to give me permission or to uh, tell somebody to move those tractors because, like I said, my 
sure it's gonna be here any moment now. So yeah, uh, let's get back to that. Okay, sorry, I just got done with that, uh, with the boxes over there. Sorry, I, I didn't do any time lapse or anything less because I had to do everything pretty fast. Okay, so right now I'm gonna uh, go ahead and call up one of the bosses and see if I uh, if you could give me permission to move it because I don't see anybody around here and so. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I, if he gives me permission. I still remember now how to, I still remember how to use these. So, so I just got permission. Yeah. <laughs> so now, uh, time for me to get onto these tractors. <laughs> Let's see if they have the key though. Okay, that's a good sign. It opened up. Oh, I wish they would let me drive these every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I let it calibrate. The way the way you put on the steering wheel, you can't just pull it down or like that. Brings it down to you. Okay. So here you go. Bring it up. It's good enough right there. Oh, that's for her. It's been a while since I've driven this, so give me give me a break. Okay. Uh, right there's the gears. I don't need to go that fast. So go third gear right there. All right, let's go. Give it a little bit of gas. Gas is right here. Whoa, 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 whoa! I forgot how sensitive the steering wheel is to these things. A uh, tour of how to drive these. This is this is a uh, Ford gears uh, uh more uh, the more uh gears and the less reverse again less and the more and this uh and this is the gas so yeah and this is to lower that right there you just push it down and then there that's it now let's get no, let's get out of here before I get my butt chewed. Man, I really wish they would give me a tractor like this just inside the AC, the radio, a rear view mirror. Oh, I need those rear view mirrors when I'm traveling to a new field. And then the buddy seat if I get bored. <laughs> they can tell me that this one is bigger than, than the one I drive. I'll, I'll currently go to the one I drive right now. In three, two, one. See, it's not even that big of a difference. It's only just by two, by ten. It's the same tires. Ugh. Why? Why? <laughs> case in its natural habitat being fixed just like a Ford <laughs> and right here we have a case being out in the wild actually working <laughs> that's a very rare occurrence for case tractors <laughs> this whole entire time I've been uh, bagging on on a uh, case, the John Deere is getting fixed as well. <laughs> Just to give you guys an idea of how big of a difference my microphone is, this is without the microphone. Yes, I have it hooked onto myself, but it's not connected to the phone. Now the next clip you're gonna be seeing is with the microphone. Now, can you tell the difference between microphone and no microphone? Hopefully you guys can, because this microphone is I like it. I, I can tell the difference. Hopefully you guys like it. Okay, so this is what I don't like. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, I just got to unload that and switch it with the Viters. My crew is about to release another trailer, so I got to um, unload that and switch it with the Viters, and that'll be it. I'm going to do a little time lapse, though. Okay, 
Okay, so my crew's are right there. And they're about to switch sides to over here. So I'm gonna have to move, start moving the, uh, the equipment that I moved earlier back over there. So it's gonna be musical tractors again. Here we go. So this is the last uh, tractor that I gotta move for the day. They're gonna come pick up the case. Thank God, I don't like frame case. So yeah, I'll be just moving around that ranch for right now. <laughs> That's gonna be it for uh, today in the field. Today, uh, there's no liquor store stories, but I'm gonna tell you guys a story pretty quick. I'm gonna go inside my truck and tell you guys it better. The crew's already done. That's the last trailer right there. Uh, we'll be here back tomorrow. Another three trailers or so. Probably even two. I think probably two of them they're gonna do because uh, that piece that, they, that they're gonna barely do tomorrow, it's, they took a lot of uh, trailers out of that piece. So. I'm just expecting just uh, for them to see tomorrow, but who knows? Anyway, uh, let's, let's get into my truck so I can tell you guys a story of what happened to me a couple of days ago. All right, so a couple of days ago, I usually, uh, like you guys seen in a couple of vlogs uh, before, that I usually go and pick up a pallet, a pallet of ice. And uh, I, 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 it was a normal day. I, I went to go pick up uh, the pallet of ice. I paid for it and everything. And in the back, I don't know if you guys at Save Mart uh, have those uh, loading docks for where the, the trucks or somebody that buys a pallet or whatever. Um, they they go lo load you up in the back. So my, my normal uh, my normal thing to do is to go in the back. They like, they load me up with with the forklift and. Uh, I'm, I go on about my day. <clears throat> so they were about to load me up. I had some pallets in the back of my mom's truck because at that time I only could only take my mom's truck because my truck was already filled up with a bunch of water jugs and uh, ice chest. So it was gonna take a long time for me to uh, take out the water jug and the ice chest. So I was like, oh, I'll just take my mom's truck. And so I took her truck and uh, apparently back, back then I took uh, her uh, took her truck for uh, some to go pick up the ice as well so i had some pallets already in the back there so i could just drop them off right there and load them up with new ones so so yeah uh i went to go load up some new ones i was just waiting there patiently uh my mom was just taking down the pallets and when i hear this guy honk coming like 40 miles an hour and behind behind uh same mark I, I hear him coming 40 miles an hour and he's honking like like the whole entire way and I'm like what the hell's going on and I usually get honked but the, uh, or usually people just turn around because at that area there's a very little space so you can't really pass by even if you wanted to uh, as much as you could um, and the guy he came honking the whole entire way and when he got uh, when he got to where I was he got in his car he was like hey you asshole I told you to move, so why don't you move your truck? I was like, oh, this guy, no, 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 no. And mind you, the guy is like, in his, uh, he's in his late 50s and uh, early 60s, I believe. He didn't look any older than 65, so yeah. But he, he was really tall and really old. I was like, is this man really trying to get in my lap's nerves right now? So he got me in a good mood. Honestly, I was uh, <laughs> I was just uh, at home yeah, with my with my family, and uh, he got me in a good mood. Uh, they they got me in a good mood, so he he got lucky. I wasn't in a bad mood. So what well, I usually do when I'm in a bad when, when when I'm in a good mood, I, I I start to be 
of a little ass. So he was telling me, hey, if you don't move your truck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash your windshield and you're gonna, and, and I'm gonna smash your face. And I was like, that wouldn't be, that, that wouldn't be smart of you. And what are you gonna do? You're gonna smash your face into my windshield or what are you gonna do? You don't have, a, you don't have anything uh, to, to break my windshield with. <laughs> so he, he's like, I'll be right back. So he came back with a little uh, ra uh, ra uh, socket ratchet or whatever. I don't know what he brought. I, yeah, I think he brought a ratchet. It was like that big. I was like, really? And then, uh, the, the next thing I told him was, you really have to bring a, a weapon to to this? You think you think just because you brought a weapon, just uh, it makes you tough or what? And he, and he and he got even more mad. <laughs> and, and he was like, I'm gonna use this to smash your face him if you don't move your truck right now. I was like, you're so tough. So I just walked back. And I ignored him and he got in front of me again. I was like, all right, this guy's really pissed me off now. And, and uh, he was like, if you don't move your truck again, I'm, I'm, I'm again. He told me the same thing over and over again. I was like, dude, just shut up. Come, come up with something else. And so I told him, you know what, dude, just wait, just wait for me and uh, to load up, and I'll go about my day. He was like, no, move your truck right now. I just ignored him. I. Uh, if he tr if he tr uh, if he tried uh, to do anything to my truck or to me, I would just honestly just react as fast as possible. And like, again, he's old, so he's a little bit slower than I am, so I would have reacted pretty fast. But anyway, uh, he, he he was like, "You're right. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. You're such an asshole. You're a prick. You're this and that." And then right, right when he was about to leave, he told me. I hope when you get home, cause he saw my ring. I hope when you got, I hope when you get home, you uh, you go to your uh, to to your house and you see your old lady slaughtered. Basically, I was like, what the hell is wrong with this man? So he he, he told me that he wished my wife was into a million pieces, that uh, uh, that I get convicted of it even though I'm innocent, and that he wants me behind bars. How can you get so angry if I'm just doing my job and you're not even supposed to be back there? I told him, D sir, you're not even supposed to be back here. I'm, I'm taking care of my business, and if you're, and if you don't like it, you can go around. A lot of people just go around, or they wait patiently. I tell him just to wait patiently, and I'll be about my day. And then they go in. No, this guy wanted to take it to the extreme, so I, I, uh, I just totally ignored him, and uh, they loaded me up with my pallets, and this guy went into his car. And he and he and he told me that about my wife, and uh, he he was uh, reversing and he sped off and, and and he right before he sped off he gave me the finger, and I just blew him a kiss. We're like, bye. <laughs> so the moral of the story is, don't try to be that tough guy that uh, tries to handle everything. If you can't face up to somebody like that, just don't. Just do me this favor. Don't go down to their level. If you if you want to mess with their brain a little bit, reverse psychology. They're mad. You you uh, you kill them with a, with a smile on your face. That's how that uh, that's how you uh, de-escalate de that situation. Or you get the license plates and um, and uh, and you call the police. Luckily, I know this guy. Uh, was wearing his his company shirt. I got I got the company shirt. Uh, I got the company's name, and I got his actual name. So, if he ever tries to come up to me and do it again, I know who he is, and I know where he works. And I wouldn't be afraid to call the police and tell him, "Hey, this guy is a repeated offender against me, and he uh, and he threatens my my life, my my uh, my property, and my family." So. Hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, please, uh, please let me know what you guys want to see a little bit more of my in my videos. Um, hopefully you guys like the new microphone that I got. I really like it, in my opinion. I don't know if you guys liked it, but yeah. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys uh, like this video. Um, see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. One day,
Tell me your state and I believe 